we are about to make some chili guys Hey guys, so we are about to make one of my favorite recipes, turkey chili, and it's so quick. It's a one pot meal, you guys are gonna love it. If this is your first time here, my name is Tiffany and welcome to my channel. I talk about all things lifestyle, fashion, beauty, cooking, all things. There are a lot of chili recipes out there, but I've figured out my own over the years and I wanna share it with you guys. So I have everything prepared, I have the beans, so I use red kidney beans and chickpeas. So these are just cans. You don't need to get dry beans. You can if you'd like, but you don't need to. I put corn in my chili as well. We have tomato paste, diced tomatoes, my homemade chili powder, garlic, onions, and bell pepper, and of course, the turkey. Over the years, I've developed my own blend for chili powder so you so you don't have to buy the packaged stuff at the supermarket because because those packets have tons of sodium and salt and you don't need that the entire recipe is going to be in my blog post and i'll link it in the description it's the fall time now and chili is the perfect comfort food it's so quick it's a one pot meal i would say this will all be done in about an hour so it's a quick one pot meal and you guys are gonna love it so we're gonna get started so I have the pot on the stove. I'm gonna turn the pot on like medium high heat so my stove goes up to nine. So I'm gonna put on a seven. You want it just nice and hot enough so you can just cook through the ground turkey. Now we're just gonna add a tablespoon of olive oil. I would add two tablespoons and then we're just gonna have that heat up for about five minutes. So I'm gonna put everything in now. This dish typically takes like an hour to make. So we're gonna put this in. We're just gonna cook it down until the ground turkey is broken up into small pieces. You all know when it's fully cooked, I'll show you guys. So we're gonna cook this down until it's fully cooked and then we're gonna put it in a bowl to the side and then we're going to go through the next step of the process. And you wanna make sure you keep the stove on medium high heat. So you just wanna keep breaking it down. This is so easy, like it's very simple and straightforward. So I'm just gonna keep doing this and then show you guys once it's finished. Is everything good right now? So I think it's all done. I'll show you guys. So yeah, it's pretty much all cooked. So we're gonna put this in a bowl to the side so that we can get the other portion of the recipe fully cooked. I'm gonna put the meat in this bowl and then we're gonna saute the onions and the pepper. All right. Be careful when you do this. So we're just putting this in the bowl. I said this is a one pot meal so we don't need to use a different pot we're gonna use the same pot so I wouldn't I'm not gonna add any more oil because the pan is already kind of coated with some oil so I'm just gonna add the onions and the peppers in right now so you just we're just gonna saute this for like I don't know, maybe like five minutes or, you know, until it's translucent, like the chefs, that's what all the chefs say. Um, all right, so I'm going to do this and I'll report back when this is done. I almost forgot, we need to add the garlic too. So when you add the peppers and the onions, also add the garlic as well. And then we're going to saute all of that together. It smells so good. I just love the smell of onions and garlic when it's sauteing. After we saute the onions, peppers, and garlic, we're gonna put the tomato paste in, mix that in, put the diced tomatoes in, mix that in, and then we're gonna put all of the beans in and the corn, and then we're gonna put the meat in, and then we're gonna put the chili powder. 
technically you could throw everything in at once but it's best not to because the flavors from like the tomato paste and the diced tomatoes come out when you're when you cook it down first at least from my experience it's just better when you follow the steps that way okay so i think this is done here's what this looks like so this is all good you see it's all wilted now so now we're going to put the tomato paste in. Okay, so tomato paste, we're going to put that in now. We're going to put the tomato paste in. I'm going to show you guys what this looks like. Just have to mix it, mix it together. And you do this for like 30 seconds. Now we're going to throw this in. Now you throw in the diced tomatoes, you mix that in as well. And then we're throwing the beans in, the corn, throw in the ground turkey. And now we're gonna mix it all together. All right, so let me mix this and then I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like afterwards. So everything is mixed in. This is what it's going to look like. And now we're gonna throw in our chili powder. This is three and a half tablespoons of chili powder. The recipe that I have listed on the website is good for two different servings. We're just gonna throw that in. And now we're gonna mix it up. And then we're going to add one cup of water. And then after that, we just let it sit for like 30, 40 minutes and then we'll have some chili. Once you put the chili powder in, it smells so good. And then my only recommendation is after everything is fully cooked, you can decide how much salt to put in. This chili powder does have salt, but you can add salt to taste to your liking. All right, so now we're going to add a cup of water cover it and then let it sit. So I'm gonna add this cup of water, cover it and then we'll be good. I would add a cup and a half. So I would add a cup and a half of water and then we're gonna let it sit. So here's what it looks like. It already looks really good. And now we're just gonna let it sit and cook and it's gonna be delicious. So we're gonna just let this sit for 30 minutes and I will report back when it's all done. Oh, I forgot to add, make sure you keep the chili on medium heat, um, but make sure you're watching it because you don't want it to burn. Only you know how hot your stove gets. So just make sure you watch your stove um, I'm putting mine on low medium because my stove, my electric stove gets really hot. So I'm just letting you guys know, you know your stove, so make sure you keep your stove on medium, medium low heat during the process of it simmering down. I will check back in with you guys in 30 minutes and we're gonna have cooked chili. Okay, so it's been about 45 minutes and the chili's all done, so I'm just mixing it up. Here is the chili, so this is what it should look like. It should be a nice thick mixture. I wish y'all can smell this, it smells so good. All right, so I'm about to pour myself a bowl and garnish it with some cilantro.